Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Marta Lepkowska here. I'm glad to welcome you in my very first video for uh, Dusty Attic. I'm really happy that I can share with you my new project and my very first project for this company. So today we will uh, alter my very own calendar for 2016. Uh, I do love the cover because I bought the calendar and I love the, the original cover but then I was thinking uh, I'll, I'll change it, I'll make something else with it. Um, as you can see I added some masking tape uh, because I really wanted to keep the original goldy uh, design which which I liked and that also gave me the idea of the colors, uh, the color scheme that I'm gonna uh, choose for my project. Our next step is to paint our cover with black gesso. The reason for a painting cover with black gesso is to prepare the surface for working with different art mediums. Here we have a dusty attic a texture paste and uh, also stencil from Dusty Attic. What I'm trying to do now is uh, I'm trying to create some texture uh, that will bring some interest to our background. My next step is to emboss the texture paste. I'm using Lindy Stamp Gang uh, embossing powders, two different ones. I'm just trying to kind of achieve a rusty, a rusty look. Uh, it's a little bit messy because the embossing powder is black and it's actually everywhere. Um, now I'm mixing the other color with, with the black one. And it's not uh, only uh, on the texture paste my embossing powder, but it's actually on the whole surface of the of the cover and I did it on purpose because what I do like is that when we emboss it when we heat it, heat the embossing powder we're gonna have this really awesome texture uh, on our background we were able to also emboss in between the lines which created great a great texture. Now time to embellish our cover. To stick my embellishments, my different elements, I'm using 3D gel, gel medium. Why do I use gel medium, not the uh, hot glue gun? There is a very simple answer. Hot glue gun, when it dries, it's like a plastic. It's not flexible. Uh, with the 3D gel, it's more flexible. Um, so we can be sure that nothing will fall apart. With the hot glue gun, I can guarantee you things will start falling off uh, your canvas, your journal cover, whatever you are doing. And the, the important uh, fact here is that I'm doing a journal cover, my calendar cover, which I will be using every day. So I have to be sure that this is sticked properly and I'm not going to be collecting bits and pieces uh, during the whole year. As you can see, I added chipboard frame. I have to tell you, when I saw this frame for the first time, I was like, oh my, I absolutely adore it. And I, I knew I'm going to be using that straight away. Uh, so yeah, that's why I choose it for my cover for my uh, calendar. Flowers are also from Dusty Attic. Uh, again, I'm using 3D matte gel medium to stick all the elements 
uh, you could choose gloss, matte, no difference. Uh, they work same thing, same way, and they, they stick the elements very well. Building your composition is probably one of the hardest thing. Um, so as you could see, I was moving around my my embellishments and see, trying to see in which position I uh, like my embellishments to be. Uh, this heart is uh, a resin from Prima Marketing. I'm sure. Most of you know those products already. Now I'm adding some uh, things from my stash really. I don't have a brand and, or name for that. Some uh, pebbles, that's the word I think. And the small one are from plastic and the bigger one are made from, from glass. Now I'm gonna add some metal embellishments from Finavar from Prima Marketing. Again, I'm using a 3D gel medium to stick all the metal embellishments. Uh, to create my my composition. Mm, later on, I'm gonna add different embellishments, uh, things from my stash, really recycled items. And now, time to cover the whole piece uh, with black gesso. Now it's time to color uh, our project. I'm using some, uh, it said on the box, uh, leather paint and then I'm gonna be using some Inca gold. Now I'm adding some white uh, using Lindy Stump Gang Spray. Uh, and more sprays. Uh, playing around with the color really and trying to find uh, my best my best color color scheme.
I'm using Inca Gold to highlight uh, the texture and embellishments. To create some contrast, I'm trying to darken the edges of my uh, cover. Now it's the time for taking off the masking tape and I'm really curious myself because I have never uh, used masking tape to a project like that. So I was curious myself and pleasantly surprised that it was just perfect. Now it's time to add some finishing touches and I decided to add some metal plaquette uh, and the word remember is perfect for the calendar I think. It's in the bronze color which matches perfectly uh, the cover. As you can see here I used hot glue gun uh, because I was rushing but uh, truly I would recommend you to use that 3D gel. So here it is, our finished cover. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you found it inspirational. Uh, if you are looking for more mixed media uh, projects, here is another video tutorial. Uh, it's not my last video, but one of my latest. So if you wish to see it, click the picture and it will take you directly to that video. Uh, thank you all so for watching for taking time to comment to share the projects share the videos it means a lot uh, i hope i can inspire you every month uh, as part of that's the attic design team uh, if you if you will create something uh, we're using that's the attic pieces be sure to share it with me i would love to see your projects I will definitely talk to you very, very soon. Bye!